Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. I create a lot of content for MSPs. Today's video is part two of a little series I've created here for Azure Information Protection. We're going to be looking at the classify section today and label taxonomy. If you haven't already, do check out my intro video to AIP in the discover section here. I made these in bite-sized chunks so we can just look at each piece here one at a time and you guys can see this a little bit better. So when we look at the classify section here, it's really all around the taxonomy of the labels that we have within our organization. By default, if you set this up and apply the label, the default labels that come from Microsoft, this is what you're going to see besides the PII data. That's a custom label that I've created here. Whenever you're going and looking at this, you know, you can view this. The only ones I change here always is general to internal. When I'm looking at this, I look at the description here and it makes more sense for me to say that it's an internal doc. A lot of your customers may be similar in what you want to roll out to them. Personal, public, internal, confidential, and highly confidential are really what I like to use in all scenarios. But again, this obviously depends on the customer and the vertical of what you're going to or who you're going to be rolling this out to. That taxonomy to me makes the most sense when, when we're thinking about applying these labels to our customers. Confidential and highly confidential are where we get into some of the more heightened level security features that you'll apply in the protection phases, like encryption, like blocking download access, like being able to share across the entire organization. We're scoping those more so to a limited group. And obviously with these three, we are preventing users from sending the documents that are tagged with that to external domains. So that would be something that you would have to do upon request. So with these, you know, this may be something that you have to modify due to feedback from the customer, but that is really the process, right? You go in, you define the labels with the customer based off your discovery that we covered last time. If there's sensitive information types, you can give them more direct and targeted recommendations in the description here for when they're supposed to be applying this label to a document or if there's watermarks or something like that that describes this in their uh, particular content that they're creating here. But this is a constant thing where you would want to iterate over time from the taxonomy that they're going to see. Whenever they're in their environment here, if you publish this either via the native apps here or with the AIP client, um, they can hover over this just to see a high level uh, description that is applied and they can see the same if they hover over it here as well too. The best thing to do with this is to pilot this out with a couple of test users within the company, some champions of the organization get their feedback on if these labels actually make sense for the kind of content they're doing. You might actually have to do this across multiple departments as well too to make sure that it makes sense holistically across the company. Within the taxonomy here, you can apply different labels to different sets of groups within the company as well. That gets a little bit more confusing and harder to, to manage, so I don't recommend it if you can avoid it. But in some cases, you may want to apply sub labels, for instance, to a group uh, that is like HR, for instance, where it says confidential and recipients only or something like that. The labels that you publish here are not published in the environment until you apply them with policy. So that's a big thing, again, that you have to recognize each one of these can be scoped to groups. I recommend, again, especially in the SMB space, trying to keep it as simplistic as possible, getting everybody to agree on the taxonomy, and then making it easy for them to adopt the mindset of going in and, and applying a label to these documents so that one, they can get that organization within the company, two, they're better protected in this remote environment, especially when we're thinking about the kinds of PII that they may be sharing or IP, financial data across the company that may be sometimes in an insecure manner. With ARP protection and the labeling that we are applying, even if they are compromised and they have these documents being consumed in emails, that person who opens the document still doesn't have the right 
to view that without the domain flowing through that particular user. So it's another layer of protection for the information in the particular environment. But the best thing to do here is to constantly rework these, these variables and I think, or these labels, but I think that you'll find some consistencies across your customers that you want to use and the messaging will be down there as well too. Whenever you go to do this, um, some other classification examples you could potentially use outside of what Microsoft has used here, uh, L1, L2, L3, L4. Um, just if it's something easier for them to write that in. I've seen some clients use code words to classify the documents. That seems way more complex to me, but it worked for that particular client. Um, you also have the ability here to do public internal confidential secret. So it's really you know what they feel like makes the most sense intuitively. And again, you want to minimize the amount of labels as much as you can within the company to make this as easy as possible to adopt. So even having three public internal confidential may be one of the best ones that you could do because it's very simple and easy to understand. Like obviously it's a public document, this is internal use only. Confidential is more of a protected document, has sensitive information in it that we wouldn't want shared and we want extra protection on like encryption as well. So that's everything I wanted to show for you guys in this video from the standpoint of classify. This is where you can take the discovery video I made, look at all the types of sensitive content to give direction, but ultimately you will probably have to iterate this, but make sure you come in there with a game plan after evaluating the kinds of information that you're seeing around the company and fully understand their workflows to give them the best recommendations as their trusted advisor. So that's everything I want to show again, guys, for this video. Stay tuned for the next video on protection. We'll go through the policy creation. Otherwise, like or subscribe if you guys want to see more content around Microsoft 365 in the MSP space, and have a great day.